today's video we're back once again looking at another MSI Z170 motherboard. This time around we're going to be taking a look at MSI's new Gaming Pro Carbon RGB motherboard. MSI was actually nice enough to contact me asking if I want to review this for you guys today. So of course this leads to the video itself. So first of all we're going to be taking a look at the motherboard itself, the overall design and layout and the specification of that board. Then going into what I think about it at the end of the video. So let's get on with it. So let's start things off with what's inside the box itself. First of all, you get your normal stuff like your user manual, your SLI bridge, you get your SATA cables, labels, thank you message, quick installation drive, and of course that dreaded CD disc, what you don't need. One thing I do love though is the rear I.O. on this. It's nicely laid out so you know where all your cables meant to go. And with that Dragon logo on the back, just sets it off for me. A nice little thing on the side on here. So let's take a look at MSI's Z170A Carbon RGB motherboard. The motherboard itself comes completely black with a few white and silver accents on it, but overall does look clean and simple. And the first time I actually got this board out of the box, I did feel that it'll fit somebody looking for a nice, clean, simple build. Of course, if you look on the heatsink here and here, you can actually see they applied some carbon fiber, which I believe is stuck on to enhance that look, hence the carbon name of the motherboard. Look on the bottom heatsink, it has some carbon fiber with a silver MSI logo on it, so that looks pretty damn good as well. But overall, it looks completely black and it will fit so many builds out there for people to choose. Of course, if you actually look on the right side as well here, you can actually see it has their mystic lighting, which pretty much lights up like a circuit board. It's done this by having RGBs on the back of the mud board itself. And I believe these are 16.8 million colors so that allows you to change the color whatever you want and build that color build you actually want to build. You do this as well by using their gaming app in their course windows so again you can change it to whatever color you want and then you got your color scheme looking great. So nice feature by MSI on this board. Now if you actually look on the left side of the board it has that isolated circuitry which is pretty much standard on most mud boards today. Now I believe this has red LEDs on this. If you actually look it looks like a fixed ID that you won't be able to change. So just up from the center of the motherboard, you see that this motherboard is using the LGA 1151 socket known as Skylight. The socket itself supports 6700Ks and 6600K CPUs. Now if you actually look around that socket, you'll see that MSI is using the 8-phase digital VRMs with MSI's titanium chokes. And just up there on the left, you can see it's using the 8-pin CPU power connector. So next to that CPU socket, of course, we've got your four memory slots. Pretty much your standard location you expect to see them on today's Motherboards. The motherboard supports DDR4 with speeds of up to 3200 megahertz. So you're definitely going to get good performance out of your memory on this board. The board itself supports MSI's DDR4 boost, which pretty much most MSI boards have today. And if you're not sure what it does, well, pretty much it isolates that memory circuitry to keep that signal staying pure, you increase saveability, and give you better performance. Now, MSI claims you get up to 1.6 times, but you're probably more reliant on what memory you use. Now, just above the memory slots, you have your CPU header 1 and 2. Great location if you have something like a Corsair H200i in your case, you can connect them fans there and control them on the board using PWN, so that's nice to have them there. You have a system free fan to the actual right of the memory slots. Again, if you have a front mounted fan on your case, you can connect that there and use PWM as well. Just below this, you have your standard location for your 24 pin power connector. Again, you expect to see it on most mud boards today. It's a standard place to see it. Just above that, though, you have a basic LED debug light. What's nice to actually indicate if you've got a fault in that certain area, what's a nice thing to have. Just below that, you have a USB 3.0 port. Again, if you have one on your case, you can plug it in there and use USB 3.0 on your case. So this motherboard also features one M.2 drive here. So that's pretty much 32 gigabytes per second. So you get great performance and storage capability out of this drive if you wish to use it. Of course, it sports things like a Turbo U.2 host card if you wish to use this as well. Just above this, we get another system fan header. Again, this is system fan one this time. So you can use this for something like a rear exhaust fan on your case. Perfectly for that. Now, of course, next to this to the left, we have something called MSI Gaming LAN chip. What this pretty much does, and it's standard on most MSI boards today, pretty much prioritizes that game over the other background tasks. So, of course, traffic priority, bandwidth, and even the latency overall improves compared to the other background tasks. So, it's a good thing to have while game. The motherboard also features four Peter Express X1 slots. You can see there in the little black ones. So, you've got a head lot headroom there to actually include things such as a Wi Fi card if you wish to use Wi Fi on this motherboard, or even your own sound chip card like a, a sound booster by creator so 
Also, it supports three PCI Express 3.0 slots as well, with the first two having that new steel armor on it. So again, if you have these heavy cards, what you see today, will sag quite a lot. You know it's not going to actually break that slot. And of course, if you wish to rip it out, if you lose a game, you know your PCI Express slot's going to be okay as well. Now, this motherboard also features two-way SLI and three-way crossfire. Now, if you use a single card, of course, it, is, it runs at 16x mode. Now, if you want two SLI, of course, two-way crossfire, you're going to have 8x 8x mode. Now, if you decide to run this motherboard with freeway crossfire, unfortunately, it doesn't actually run freeway SLI. It's going to run at 8x, 8x, 4x. So I just thought I'd let you know what settings the motherboard actually run on the PC Express slots with multiple graphics cards. Now, of course, in the middle there, we have your battery for the motherboard, which again, some location to see this. And next to this, we have a CMOS reset switch. It bridges us together, we actually reset the CMOS. And next to that, we have an incursion switch if you wish to use that as well. So next to the PCI Express slots to the left, of course, we have MSI's Audio Boost 3 sound chip. Pretty much one of the most common used sound chips today on MSI motherboards. This is powered by a Nahemic Audio Enhancer and also has things such as an isolated PCB, which you can identify by a red glow line around the sound chip. It also has things like a metal EMI shield coating, dual op amps, and even Nipcon audio capacitors. So overall, you're going to get some decent quality audio while gaming on this motherboard. Now to the bottom here, we have System Fan 2, so yet again, another PCI. WM fan you can use there if you wish to control it and of course to the right of these we have yet again your standard location you expect to see them such as your power on switch reset switch audio jack microphone jack and of course hard drive id etc next to these we have two more usb 2.0 headers again if you have these on your case you'll be able to connect them there and use usb 2.0 on your case and we also have a sato express port here so again if you use sato express you get a nice fast speed if not you can use these as two individual sata 3 6 gigabits ports as well we have four more sata 3 6 gigabits per second ports that's a total of six nice storage coverage there we also have a right angled usb 3.0 port here what is a nice thing i really love these you'll be able to plug that in and actually wrap that cable around the motherboard through that grommet just to enhance that cable management so definitely a thumbs up in my book from msi so let's take a quick look at the rear ia for the connectors well first of all let's start from the left we get of course your gaming device port what you can see in red at the top and below this we get two usb 2.0 ports so this is all isolated and a lot of people like to use this to connect their mouse and keyboard next to this of course we have a dvid port if you wish to use the onboard graphics and next to that we have two usb 3.1 ports these are 10 gigabits per second generation 2 model top one's type a bottom one is type c connector next to this we have two more usb 2.0 ports with a hdmi connector port at the bottom if you want to use that for handboard graphics next up we have again more usb 3.1 ports this time generation one model ports and above that we have a intel gaming LAN powered by msi's gaming LAN chip and next this we have of course the audio connectors which seem to be all gold plated so now we've seen the layout of course features of this new z170 carbon edition motherboard by msi the first thing i feel is it does look stunning in this all black theme now of course with them rgb lights up there as well i do feel with it being black it's going to fit so many systems out there very very well you can put this in any case set them rgbs to whatever color you want and there you go you got a good looking build straight away it's definitely going to fit so many builds out there now the first thing i actually did think though when i got out the box this board does look very very similar to the msi z170 crit game board they released last year about four or five months ago where i actually did do a review on they've got the same layout it's got the same heat sinks and does look very similar but there is a few slight differences but i just thought i'd add in there now I've been told by MSI that this motherboard is meant to compete against the Gaming Pro from Asus, the Asus Gaming Pro motherboard, which is an RGB as well, I believe. This is meant to be direct competition for that, but I do believe that this RGB light system is a lot better from what I've seen anyway than Asus's version. I just thought I'd take that in there. Now, I've been told as well by MSI this board's going to be about £120 here in the UK. It's about $150-$60. US dollars. So definitely a good bang for buck motherboard considering you get their audio boost free, you get their gaming LAN, you get USB 3.1, you get of course uh, DVR4 boost and of course their Mystic Light RGB. So overall for the money definitely a good bang for buck motherboard and overall you're going to definitely have a good solid game performance simply with this motherboard compared to any other motherboard. 
Now, it's not everything about this motherboard I did like there. I must take note that I really wished that the actual isolated circuitry on the actual uh, sound chip there had RGBs on the back, just like their Mystic light up here. So when I actually change that, that would change color and match. That was my one of my biggest critics about this motherboard. Not sure why I did that. And I actually pay a premium more if I had to have RGBs on that side. So hopefully MSI will take note and do that in the future. The other thing I would have thought this would have finished this motherboard off for me perfectly would it if I had swapped out that Intel nick there and put a killer nick in. But I'm guessing you're using their gaming line anyway, so it doesn't really matter, it does the same job. But anyway guys, that's been my review of course of the new MSI Gaming Pro Z170 Carbon RGB motherboard. So if you've got any comments about this motherboard itself, then feel free to drop them in the box below. And of course a big thank you for MSI for sending this out. So anyway guys, please put a like on the video if you can. I enjoyed making this one and I guess I'll catch you next time. See ya.